Hi, everyone. So we're going to just do a really gentle, well, moderate, gentle half run practice today. Um, it's just for de-stressing and relaxing. So we're just going to get started. So we're going to start just sitting in a cross-legged position on your mat. Hands on your belly if you wish, or hands on your knees. And you want your shoulders in line with your hips here, and just feeling those six bones and grounding in towards the earth and your six bones. And you're just going to start by closing your eyes, and you're going to breathe and expand the belly with breath. Just breathing in and breathing out a few times at your own pace. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose, expanding the belly with breath. And exhale gently, deeply. Intensity. 
breathe gently to clean in through the nose. As you exhale, just going up a little deeper than you did before, if that feels good for you. Remember, this is your body, so you choose what feels right for you, might not feel right for another person. So, just listening to your body and to what you need right now. Nice deep breaths into the body, breathe gently, deeply in, breathe gently, deeply out. <laughs> Good. Whenever you feel ready, your next inflation is slowly coming up. And then you're going to hang on the left arm out, place it to the side of the head, and then just bring the ear a little bit closer here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just gently bring the ear a little bit closer to the shoulder, lengthening through your fingertips. If you want a little more intensity, you can inhale and lengthen, and exhale to go a little deeper. Staying here, drop the shoulders away from the Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale to go a little bit deeper. If you want a little more intensity, press into the baby finger of your right hand as you draw the ear a little closer to the shoulder. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. And do three more breaths at your own pace. Good, slowly push your head back up and just gently look from side to side a few times and then maybe shake out your arms and your legs here. And of course, my phone is going in the most unrelaxing class. That's technology. <laughs> All right, moving on. We're going to come into an all fours position here. And today you're going to draw the knee in towards the nose. So right knee into the nose and exhale to lengthen out. And we're just going to do that five times. Inhaling, knee goes in towards the nose. As you exhale, look forward and lengthen. And inhale and exhale. Reach out easy can. Reach out easy feel. Good. One more time. This time you're just gonna extend your left arm out and just balance here. Option two to come up to your fist if you find that that's really hard for your wrist. So whatever feels better, holding one, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we come back to center. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Whoops. So reach your nose, inhaling and exhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Extending the arm out here for one. Two, three, four. Draw right up into your core here to help you stabilize. Five, six, seven, and eight. Bringing the leg and the arm in. And then you're just going to sit back onto your knees, or onto your heels rather. Um, I mentioned this before, but I think it's good, good to remind you. If you find that you're you don't like kneeling, sometimes placing 
and rolling your mat under a few times is really helpful just to give yourself some extra conditioning. Um, from here, I'm going to curl my toes under and I'm going to sit back onto my heels. You're not going to love this, but it stretches out the fascia layer from the bottoms of the feet all the way up the spine and through the crown of the head. Um, and it's very good for us. So from here, you're just going to interlace your hands behind you and just roll the shoulder blades back um, and just take five deep breaths here. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently, deeply. Good. And then when you've completed your breath, just gently come back to center and just tap your toes up. You can be a bit intense on that. Good. Slowly release your mat. And then from here, you're going to curl your toes under. Uh, sorry. You can bring your feet flat on the floor, my like bad. And your hand just move into the cobra a little bit. So you're going to bring your knees and chest and chin down to the floor. Inhale and lift to the heart. Curl your toes under the piece of stones and exhale, downward facing dog. And then let's try that again. This time we're going to break this down a little bit more. So you're just going to slowly lower yourself down. Inhale, up. And then push back into child's pose. We'll do that three times. So just three times of practicing this movement. So you're going to slowly come forward, pressing into your arms, bring your chest forward. Belly down to the floor, and then you're going to lift up. And then slowly push back into child's pose. And again, I call this the wiggly worm. <laughs> so you're going to wiggle yourself forward. Inhale, lift to the heart, and then you lift back. And then exhale, press back into child's pose. Good. Now we're going to add that with dog instead of child's pose. So you're going to breathe in, knees, chest, and chin. Lift through the heart. You're going to curl the toes under, coming into table first, and then meeting your sit bones, exhaling into downward facing dog. So you're going to do that three times. So you're going to bring your knees down to the floor from the table top, lower your chest and your chin, breathe and lift through the heart, curl your toes under, meeting your sit bones, exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your knees down to the floor. Lower the chest and the chin, breathe and then lift to your heart. Curl your toes under, lean with your sit bones, exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, from table, slowly lower down, inhale, pull the shoulders back, extend the tops of the feet. Curl your toes under, lean with your sit bones, and back into downward dog. And dog, now we're going to take five deep breaths. And I always encourage you to just move in your dog the way you would like to move. So I don't feel that yoga is this like rigid, fluid, rigid thing. I think it's fluid, and I think you should honor your body. We all have different body types, and we all have different abilities in our body depending on what we do in our everyday, and that changes as well. So allowing yourself to feel certain postures or maybe do a little modification of your own that feels good for you. I always encourage you to do that. So coming into our dog, pressing into the palms. I always think of you've got these strings on either side of your bottom that are pulling you up and then you can bring your heels down to the floor. And then this is what I mean. You can just sort of wiggle and stretch it a little bit. Just for a couple of breaths. You can shift your, the weight of your feet. Or you might find that you're really, really tight. And if you are really tight in your leg, slightly pigeon toe your big toes so that there's not as much pressure on your back. That's also very helpful. And just take three breaths here. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. 
Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. One deep breath out. When you've completed your breaths, you're just going to walk a little meditative walk to your fingertips, bend your knees, you can inhale the arms up above you. And exhale, hands in prayer position. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of arm work. So you're just going to breathe in and breathe out. Do this five times. Inhale. Breathe up. Exhale. Good. So you're just going to ground into your big toe, baby toe, center your heel. Draw up into your legs. Your legs are nice and active here. Draw into your core. And from here, we're going to go into tree pose. So you're going to ground into your big toe. Your baby toe in the center of the heel. The right foot draw right up into the thigh. And you engage your core. This will help balance. I want to feel your feet firing as well here. And then this leg, go anywhere to the inseam of the right leg. So it doesn't have to be too high up. Um, also, try to avoid putting it right on the joint. So don't put any pressure onto the joint. So if you want to go up a little higher, you can, or you can go a little lower. So I would do modification um, for a sort of beginner level. So I would do lower, a little bit higher, you can. Bring your hands into the care position. Press into the palms so you're feeling the opening in the back of your shoulders here. Go right up into the core and make sure that the chin is in line with the pelvis. And here, if you feel comfortable, you're going to bring the arms up above you. You want to press your foot in towards the side of the leg and press the leg into the side of the foot. This will activate the glutes and just help you stabilize. Also, Looking at something that's not moving is very helpful. And we'll see if we can take five breaths together here. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Do two more breaths at your own pace. Good. Slowly bring the arms down. Shake up your legs. Good. And we're going to start brushing you on the other side. So, two toes. Grabbing into your big toe, baby toe, and center of the building left leg. Going right up into the boot, engaging your core here. And placing your foot anywhere to the inside of the opposite leg. You want to make sure this is externally rotated, so my hand is going this way and opening up. So this time I'm going to do a um, more advanced variation, so you can still be here, or if you want, you can go up a little bit higher. So I'm really pressing my foot into my leg, and I'm going to my foot here, and I'm holding and breathing, engaging in the core. You can stay here with your hands if you feel comfortable. You can bring the arms up. And that's what's going on today. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Okay, whenever you've had enough of that, slowly come out of posture, shake out your legs a little bit as that feels good to you. Shake out your arms. 
Good. From here, we're going to come into triangle pose. So you're going to extend your legs out. Your right foot's going to be 90 degrees to the front of your mat. Your left foot's 180, and the center of your right heel is aligned with the center of the arch of your left foot. So if you could draw a line from the center of your heel to your arch, then your feet would be in the right position. In triangle pose, both of my legs are straight. So I'm drawing, really drawing up into my legs. And by that, you can try that by placing your hands on your thighs and just squeezing the legs. That's what I mean by drawing up into your legs. Inhale, relax them. Exhale, really squeeze them so you can feel the firmness of your thighs under your hands. Don't tell me they're not firm because they will be if you're engaging them. And your glutes are engaging as well. Inhale, relax. Put your hands on your smile muscles as I call them, and engage the glutes and the legs at the same time, feeling your glutes or your bum engaging. Inhale, relax. Exhale, engage. Good, so now you know how to engage the legs. So you're gonna drop up into your legs and engage them, extend your arms out, take the breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna go into triangle pose here. So one arm comes down, the other one comes up. You can look straight at the camera, or you can look rather than the computer or whatever, or you can look up towards your thumb. If looking up to your thumb, like your neck, just look straight ahead. Also, you want to try to open through the shoulders here and not reach down to the floor. So this would be, this would be the don't. I'm exaggerating, I'm sure no one's doing this. The, the do is you're actually lifting out of your waist here to open through the shoulders. And we're going to take five deep breaths. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. And two more breaths at your own pace. For your next inflation, imagine that there's a little string here that's drawing you up. Okay, so you can engage into your bandhas, as we call them in yoga, or your core. All right, we're going to try the other side. Fresh and new. Left foot is 90 degrees. Right foot is 180. Inhale and extend your arms out. Reaching over here, bringing your left arm down, right arm comes up above you. Option to look straight ahead or up to your thumb. I'm going to look straight ahead now. And just take five deep breaths here. Ground into the other edge of your right foot, pressing into your big toe. Press really hard into the big toe of your left foot. See if you can feel a stretch in the upper inner thigh. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. And your next inhalation is slowly coming back up. Once again, leading with the side of the body. And then step to the front of your mat. And just take three deep breaths here. Good. From here, you're going to step back into Warrior One. So you're going to bring your left leg back. And just looking at your toes, make sure both of them are facing the front of your mat. Whenever I'm doing a Warrior One, I always want to think of like I have flashlights on the front of my hips and that they're facing forward. And from here, I'm going to bend my right knee and ground into the other edge of my back foot. My right knee is like a lunge, my knee is stuck over the ankle. Good. And then from here, I'm going to inhale and lift out of the waist just a little bit, draw up into my core, press down into your big right big toe, big toe and center of your heel, keep ground into the other edge of the left foot, and just take five deep breaths here.
And so if I want to go a little further here, I might open in my chat, so I'm going to use that there. So if this is as far as you're going, that's great. If you feel you want to go a little further, you're going to drop up into the cord, open through the back a little bit. So I'm going to open my back here, just feeling a stretch in the front of the chest. Shoulder blades are drawing in towards each other as I open through the arms a little bit more, reaching through the fingertips of my hands as well. And just breathe. Breathe gently, deeply through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. And the next inhalation, bringing your hands together and bring your heart and step together. And just take three breaths here. Slow everything down. I'm just going to lower this a little bit. There we go. Good. On your next inhalation, you're going to come into a forward fold. So just lifting the arms up above you. You're going to forward fold down as far as is com comfortable for you. I like to bend my knee in my forward fold just because I do them a lot. <laughs> so I tend to soften in my knees here. If um, you want to work a little more intensely, you can often just straighten the legs. And you want to feel the length through the back of your leg from your heels all the way through to your sits bones. So there's three hamstrings here that run the line at the back of the leg. So what you're trying to do is stretch it out. So if you're really tight, one of the ways to do it is bend the knees and then exhale, lengthening through the back of the legs, which you might say, oh my God, oh, that's really painful. And that's why I always say to work in increments with hamstrings, because if you ever, overdo it, you'll never do that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, and, or if you find if any issue with your back, it's always best to just, just soften it in your knees, so slightly bend them, okay. Clasping your elbows here, you're just gonna take five deep breaths at your own pace. You're gonna breathe gently, deeply in. If you're lengthening your legs, you're gonna just see if you can lengthen them a little bit more on the exhalation. On your inhale, I encourage you to just soften and listen to the body. On the exhalation, try to lengthen. Imagine that you're lengthening right from the top of the six bones here. On your inhalation, soften. <sighs> Let everything go. And then again, lengthen through the back of the legs. And then gently soften. Inhale. Exhale to so lengthen up through the back of the legs. Inhale. Good. From here, you're going to slowly float yourself up. Just stacking the spine one bit at a time. And from here, we're going to go into a warrior two position. So your right foot is going to be 90 degrees before we're going to do the whole other side after. So right foot's 90 degrees, left foot 180 degrees, bend your knees here. I'm going to stack up my foot and inhale and extend into warrior two. Looking at your middle fingertip here, you're going to take five to eight breaths, depending what works for you or feels good for you. You want to feel like your right foot is drawing forward on the mat. So it's very active. It's like I'm pressing into my right foot and I feel like my body is going forward. Um, my left leg, I'm pressing into the average of my left leg. At the same time, there's a dynamic opposition in this posture. So my, leg is, my left leg is going this way and my right leg is going this way. And if, you're really pressing your feet into your mat, you will feel a stretch in the upper in the back. My arms are also active, and I'm really trying to open through the chest, creating space here in the front of the heart and in the chest. I'm turning to look at my middle fingertip. If you want more intensity here, you can also close your eyes and just breathe. Sometimes 
it kind of feels good to do that. So whatever anchor should do, whatever feels good to you here. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently, deeply. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly bring your arms down on your next inhalation. And you're going to step to the front of the mat. Take a few deep breaths in here. Good. And then step into the back of your mat. We're going to do warrior three. So warrior three, you step your right foot forward, hands are on your hips, and you're going to balance, extending the left leg out behind you. So you may find that your balance isn't great and your leg doesn't come out behind you as much as you'd like it to, and that's okay. If you need a little support, you can also hold on to the wall like this, although you can also do it this way. Okay? Um, so, what I like to do is just balance into my big toe, big toe, and the center of my heel. I draw right up into my thigh here, remember? So engaging this leg and engaging the glute will help me stabilize. So from here, I engage into the core as well. So you can even practice this, where you bring your foot down and then balance onto the right leg and just extend the leg out a little bit. Bring your foot down. Exhale, extend out a little bit farther. Bring the foot down. Exhale, extend out a little bit farther. And then when you're ready, you can do a little bit further. So extend out all the way now. Good. And you can bring your hands into in front of your heart. Or you can also extend the arms out in front of you here. Okay. And just breathe. One, two, looking at the top of the mat, three, four, and five, slowly coming back. Whew. All right. And then you can try fresh and new on the other side. I was fine one side is better than the other. So left foot forward. Grounding into the big toe, big toe, and heel of the left leg. And we'll just do a little prep here. So the right leg is going to come out. I'm going to balance on my left. Bring it back. Stand out, drawing right up into my supporting leg. Bring it back. And again. And bring it back. And I also find that I like to walk into the posture. I find that helps a little bit too. So extending the leg out behind you. And then hands can come into prayer position. Or you can extend the arms out. I'm going to do this on the floor. Something kind of funny about me is when I first started practicing yoga, I didn't have a mat. I never used a mat. I had this crazy idea that if I had all the things, I would continue practicing. So I practiced for years without a mat. And when it comes to balance and poses, I find it much easier to use the floor. So grounding into my big toe, big toe center here, my left leg, I am going to ground in and extend my right leg up behind me. And I'm just going to take five breaths here. And some days are balancing days, some days not so much. Okay. 
All right, slowly coming up, shake that out. Good, and then ooh, we're gonna go to back to warrior one on the left side. So left leg is forward, right leg is back. You're gonna inhale the arms up above you. Good, ground you to the other edge of your back foot. Relaxing and softening in the shoulders, just breathing. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Keep grounding to the edge of your back foot, opening up through the chest a little bit more. Breathe. Good, and then slowly step forward. Take a few deep breaths here. Swallow and relax your jaw. Slow the breath down. Good. From here, you're going to do warrior two on the left side. So my left foot is 90 degrees, my right foot's 180. I'm going to extend the arms out here. I'm going to just try and go a little deeper into the posture here. So really grounding into my outer edge of my back foot and just lengthening out through the arms, looking at my middle fingers here. Good. And just trying to feel an openness through the front of the body. Good, so trying to press down into my left heel a little bit more. And just breathing, slowing the breath right down. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently and deeply. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let everything go. And then slowly bring the arms down. Bring your left foot in so it's parallel to the length of your mat. Oh, no, sorry, it doesn't make sense. Bring both of your feet in so your toes are facing me. <laughs> Um, and then from here, we're just going to do a wide forward fold. So you're going to extend your legs out so your toes are slightly pushed your toe, your heels are out. And then you're going to put your hands on your hips, roll the shoulders and the arms back. Take a deep breath in. Draw right up into your core. Engage your core as you forward fold. And then bring your hands down to the floor. So you can come down onto your fingertips here. And you can, if you want to widen a little bit more, that's totally fine. And I'm going to place my hands, my fingertips on the floor. I'm going to inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head here. As I exhale, I'm just going to bend my knees. There I go, bending my knees again. <laughs> and then inhale, lengthen, reaching the crown of the head forward. And exhale, slowly softening. One more time, inhale. And then exhale to forward fold. I'm going to go as far as is comfortable for me. It might be different for um, different people. So you can clasp your elbows here. You can clasp the sides of your feet. Or you can bring your head and your arms completely down to the floor. So whatever feels better for you, this is your practice. You choose whatever you want to do. So today it feels good for me to hold the sides of my feet. From here, I'm going to breathe in. And breathe out, letting everything go. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently and deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently and deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. 
Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. And the next inhalation, you're going to slowly bring your hands to your hips, engage your core, and slowly come up and drop back. Breathe. <sighs> Let everything go. Step your feet together, and you're going to come down to the floor now. And just roll in your mat under a couple times. We're going to come into hero pose. So you're just going to sit back onto your heels here. Option to also, if that doesn't feel good, you can also sit in Sukhasan or easy pose. So whatever feels better for you. So in Hero today, we're just going to do a little bit of pranayama here for breathing. We're going to inhale for four counts and exhale for eight counts. This breath is extremely good for relaxing the autonomic nervous system. So the autonomic nervous system is responsible for fight or flight, anxiety, and a bunch of other things that occur to us. So this is very helpful in stressful times to just relax the body. So you can put your hands on your belly or just bring your hands in front of you. You're going to breathe into the belly. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently and deeply in. Two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently and deeply in. Two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Breathe gently and deeply in. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. In. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Swallow and relax your jaw. Relax a hundred years. And just see how you're feeling. <clears throat> okay, so from here we're going to do staff pose, which is another stretch for our hamstrings. So you're going to extend out with the legs in front of you. And I just like to play with this a bit. I like to inhale and point my toes. And then exhale, flex my feet a couple times because I feel that that kind of activates my hamstrings. Well, I know it does. <laughs> if you find that your hamstrings are really tight, so you might be sitting like that. Um, and even if you're not, but you just know they're tight, you need to roll your mat under a couple times and sit on your mat so that you feel a little less intensity in the back of the legs, all right? So you're just going to bring your legs together here, flex your feet, bring your hands towards your sides here. You're pressing down into your hands and you're gonna just draw the shoulders in towards each other. So just gently, a lot of the time we spend time like this, this is called kyphosis, so we're like this. So we're just reversing that by opening through the chest here. And you're just going to just feel the shoulders opening towards each other, feel a stretch in the upper back, and press down into the floor. So if you press down into the floor, you'll feel 
that you've activated the muscles in the back and the arms. And you're going to take five deep breaths here. Breathing gently, deeply in. And breathing gently, deeply out. And slowly relax, shake out your legs a bit. And from here, we're going to go into boat pose. You can still sit up on your mat if you wish. I'm just unfurling mine. Um, so boat pose, I like to do in three increments. So I do your, um, your small boat, so your tub boat. So you just lift your feet off the floor. You're engaging your core here. And you're going to have your shoulders, if possible, in line with your hips and hold. One, engaging in Vanda. So draw the navel in towards the spine. Hold one, two, three, breathing, four, and five. So that's your mini boat. Then you've got for your ten boat, and you've got your larger boat. So take five breaths here. Legs are to sit together. If this is really challenging for you, options to go back to what we were doing previously, so you can still stay here in the boat. So drawing up into the core and lengthening. Legs up. One, two, three, four. Drawing right up into your core and five. Good. And then just gently rock from side to side. That feels good for you. And then we'll try one more time. This time you're going to take your arms away. That feels good. If it doesn't, you can always just watch and keep your hands underneath. That's good too. And one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Shake out your legs. Woohoo! All right, and then from here, I'm just going to rock a couple times onto my six bones here. Sometimes I like to just like pull them back a little bit or pull the skin back so they can actually feel the knobby parts under my bum, which are what the six bones are. And from here, we're going to come into a forward fold. So just inhaling the arms up above you. And exhaling as far forward as is comfortable for you. So you can clasp your big toes, your shins, option to place your hands right here on your mat or whatever feels good for you. You're going to breathe in and lengthen through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, you're going to forward fold as far as is comfortable for you. In this posture, you're hinging from the hips to come forward. So it's the hips. If the hips are tight, you might just be here. And that's okay. So it has to do with tight hamstrings, tight hips as well. So just working wherever you're at, you're gonna breathe in. As you exhale, just forward folding a little bit deeper. Breathe gently and deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently and deeply. As you inhale, breathe in prana or positive energy. As you exhale, just letting go of any stress or anxiety that you're Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. And then slowly coming up. You're going to draw both knees into the chest here. Just rock from side to side a few times. Bringing both feet on the floor. You're going to cross the right thigh over the left thigh. And bring both of the knees over to the right. My shoulders are going to be on the floor here. And I'm going to look over towards my right arm. And I'm just going to take five deep breaths here.
Whenever you've completed your five breaths, gently come back to center, releasing your legs down across the left leg over the right, bring both of the legs over towards the right side and look over towards the left. And very breathe gently deeply in through the nose. Exhale gently deeply. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe gently deeply in. Breathe gently deeply out. Inhale, exhale. And do one more breath at your own pace. On your next inhalation, gently come back to center, releasing your legs. And from here, um, we're going to do legs up the wall. So legs up the wall can be anywhere in your house. You're just going to come into the posture, keep your legs up against the wall. And we'll just start with our legs slightly hip width. This is also an excellent posture for uh, stretching our hamstrings. So if you want to lengthen the back of the legs, this is a really passive way of doing it. At one point while you're here, you'll just feel your leg go and drop back and just release it the hamstring. So it's a really awesome exercise for that. All right, so palms are nice and wide, legs are up against the wall. It doesn't matter how close to the wall you are, as long as the legs are supported and above your head. You can also do this against a couch if you wish. So from here, you're just going to take nice deep breaths in, breathe gently and deeply in, expand your belly with breath. Exhale gently and deeply. And I'm going to count you in. We're going to do an eight eight count of breath, even ratio breathing. Inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently and deeply in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently and deeply in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe gently and deeply in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then swallow and relax your jaw. Allow your lips to part slightly and just go back to your natural rhythm of breath. Allow your legs to be supported by the wall and just let everything go. On your next <clears throat> inhalation, you're going to bring the soles of your feet together and you're going to bend your knees. So you'll feel a stretch in the upper inner thigh. This is quite normal. And you're just going to hang out here. You're going to take eight deep breaths here. Breathe gently, deeply in through the nose. Exhale, gently, deeply. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale. 
exhale. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently and deeply out. Inhale, feel the support of the earth. Exhale, let everything go. Inhale, feel rooted and grounded. Exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you. Breathe gently, deeply in. Breathe gently, deeply out. On your next inhalation, you're just going to roll yourself over to whichever side is comfortable for you. And you're going to press yourself back up to take Shavasana on relaxation. So just lying down on your mat or wherever you are finding yourself. One leg into each corner, just allowing the legs to be wide so that your hips are nice and open. Palms are facing the ceiling. You can lengthen through the arms so you can open a bit more through the chest. Swallow and relax your jaw. Let your lips part slightly. Relax behind the ears. Allow your breath to just rise and fall at the right pace just for you. With each inhalation, you're opening up the front of the body and expanding it. With each exhalation, you're just letting go of any stress, any anxiety, any tension. Allowing yourself to be supported by the earth beneath you. And just letting everything go for a few moments. Gently coming back, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, and bring your arms up above you and give yourself a stretch. And then slowly roll yourself over to whichever side it was most comfortable. And 
and then gently bringing yourself up by pressing into your hands, bring yourself up to seated position. And then just bringing your hands in prayer position in front of the heart and bowing your head to your heart. Just take a moment and thank yourself for your practice. Thank yourself for all the beautiful blessings you have in your life at this time, even though things feel really uncertain. It is nice to know that the people that we have in our lives that support and love us are there. So be grateful for them. And thank you so much for joining me in my practice today. It is a great honor to teach you and to guide you. And I wish you all the best this weekend. Namaste. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.